everyone so today is my first episode of my beginners week so basically every day from Monday till Friday I'm just gonna do a working week worth I'm going to upload a new beginners related video so just a video that I think will help out people just starting out with makeup giving product recommendations tips on how to do certain things like certain makeup techniques and all that kind of stuff so today I'm going to do a beginners makeup brush guide tomorrow I'm going to do a beginners makeup collection guide and then I'm going to do foundation bronzing contouring blush etc I'm going to do eyeshadow and I'm also going to do mascara winged eyeliner and eyebrows so basically just the bare essentials of makeup the basic things you need to learn before you can get started and learn more and more and more so the first set I'm going to show you are by EXO Beauty and it's called the beginners complete set it comes in a brush roll like this so other ones that are really really great come from Sedona Lace, Sigma Elf. Elf has really really affordable ones. These ones here come in a set of 12, well 13 if you count one because it's double ended. But these are basically the bare essentials of makeup. And I use some of these brushes, I don't use all of them because these really are beginner's brushes. If you're not a beginner, I would say skip on the set and go for something else because you're going to have everything out of this anyway. I'm going to show you every single brush in the set because it's basically everything you're going to need one way or another and then I've also got two extra brushes I want to show you before you start using any brushes that you buy whether it's these ones or any others make sure you wash them first just to get off any chemicals or dust or anything that could be on them from where they were made and it'll also reduce shedding see this one here has a few extra hairs coming out because I didn't wash it I'm terrible like that but you just want to wash them first to make sure you get all the junk out of them the extra brushes that aren't quite glued down properly so that you can use them without getting them all over your face this one here is called the powder brush and this is great for powder it's great for bronzer which all of these things I'll show you tomorrow if you're not quite sure what they are or what where you put them or whatever you'll see throughout the rest of the week it's basically just a really good all-rounder brush just for whatever and if you are willing to pay a bit more I would go with synthetic because the synthetic ones are so much softer so much easier to blend they're just better overall but I'm just showing you this step because it's got everything in it the next one here this one's a lot softer than the other one actually this is called the bronzer brush and you can use this for bronzing blushing highlighting anything that's powdery I've actually seen people use these for foundation before as well this brush here is a blush brush looks like this and it's a duo fiber brush you can use these for any types of powders or liquids but I like to use this for blush because it gives a really nice airbrushed effect and it gives it a really nice even finish rather than using something like this which will give you too much color this gives you just enough we have our handy dandy foundation brush which is an essential if you're going to be using cream or liquid foundations this will be perfect just to help you blend it all out onto your face this isn't my preferred method but a lot of people start out with these I started out with these and I found it perfect so it's a really good starting out brush just to get used to the blending and coverage and all that kind of thing of foundation we then have a concealer brush which is perfect for blending out concealers eye primers you can use this for wet pigments like wet eyeshadows and lip glosses and all sorts of stuff like that this brush here is perfect for blending out color so your best friend when it comes to doing eyeshadow looks blending is the number one thing that most people don't really get right when they're starting out with makeup and that's what makes or breaks the look so having a brush like this is really really essential next we have a lip brush which is just a tall thin brush you can use this for eyeshadow as well if you want but I just like this for things like lip glosses lipsticks lip tars anything like that just to put all over the lips one of your number one most needed brushes is a basic eyeshadow brush this one is amazing I love this one perfect for pressing like color and eyeshadow and all that jazz all over the lids this one here is called the eyebrow brush I use this for my eyebrows today it's also really really good for putting color into the lashes it's good for eyeliner it's good for smoking out eyeliner and putting eyeshadows and stuff onto your eyes it's a really good all-rounder eye brush this one here is an eyeliner brush if you want to get into using cream eyeliners and gel eyeliners this one's perfect just to get it all around the lid and close to your lash line it's really nice and thin also really good for lip stuff as well if you'd rather do that with it here we have a angled eyeshadow brush same purpose as the normal eyeshadow brush but you can also get right into the crease and darken up that outer corner with this one and then this is my favorite one in this set this is the small blender brush which is kind of like a double purpose it's like half a blender brush half a pencil brush so you can apply the color where you want it 
and then just keep moving it around in circular motions to blend it out and it works really really nicely this is one of my favorites my other must-have is a kabuki brush I love this one here it's by Sedona lace and it's like the perfect size and so soft and really perfect just for blending color all over your face so powders blending out bronzers blushes and all that kind of thing and then my last essential which isn't completely an essential but I prefer this for my foundation rather than the one in the set just because it's a lot easier to blend this is the flat top XO beauty synthetic face brush and it's so nice and easy just to apply any cream or foundation or liquid foundation all over your face. If you prefer a sponge, the best sponge you can ever get, that will last you ages, it is worth a bit more, like it's quite expensive, but I'll put the link down below. It is the Beauty Blender, it is amazing, you wet it and it goes to about double the size. It's just really perfect if you're creating an airbrush finish all over your face with your foundation and concealer. It's amazing. So those are the brushes I'm going to be using throughout all of the tutorials coming up. Stay tuned tomorrow to see what beginners products I'd recommend like cheap affordable really good products that's basically what I'm choosing from and I'll talk to you soon slash I'll talk to you tomorrow bye <laughs>